Look at this. Look at this. Just a little skirt. It's so cute. You know what's actually funny is I got this in a free box in Hawaii the last time that I went, but I didn't have ass like I do now. So it wouldn't stay up. And now it stays up. It's seriously so cute. Look at this little new little belly button ring I got too. Isn't that cute? I got this with like a daisy. Um, I have another one with like a daisy on it. And then like a plain one. And it's a little sun. Look at that. Keep on shining. And here is my little portable yoga mat. It like, it's so convenient. Here, I'll show you the bottom of it up a second because it's like super grippy. So this is it. I got this in Hawaii as well. I believe from a free box too. And look at that. That's so nice. So it's actually so grippy that if you want to go out in like nature and stuff and you don't just want your yoga mat, it's really good to put over your yoga mat or, you know, if you're getting hella sweaty up in there. And it's also really good to just do on its own, you know? And I also tan on it sometimes. So yeah. Seriously, you guys though, this is like the ultimate outfit right now. Like I am so, I just love it. I just freaking love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, also look, I painted my nails. Ooh fancy i honestly did a really ratchet job on them and i got it like all over my freaking like skin and i was just like all right queen of pinterest chillax and yeah so i fixed it and we got a little own bracelet on wearing and tearing you know a a a a a a feeling fly as a motherfucker what's this Oh, it's just space. See, and there's still some space left in it because it's like my hips fit it, but as soon as it gets over my hips and my waist starts to get smaller, it's just like, um. So we have a bit a little bit of leeway, hey, if I want to like munch the fuck out on some fatty vegan food. A little pouch. We'll just cover it there, but we're good. <laughs> Shit, I almost forgot my freaking smoothie on top of the car. Oh my god, I have my sunglasses. Bam bam shazam. Look at this. So I just brought the blender because my other smoothie cup is, um, honestly, I don't know. I don't really know if this happens sometimes. So we're just going to go with it. And until now, I'm going to just use a blender. Hey, saves me having to clean an extra dish, right? Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but we're just going to let it, let it go. So today's plans, I have work on today. So I am actually wanting to go down to the lakefront and there's this really cute spot I'm gonna show you guys if my phone doesn't die. And um, I just wanna meditate for a little bit, you know, I just wanna have a little bit of me time. Just, I just did a little bit of yoga, as much yoga as I can do um, with this angle because every I can't stand up straight yet. You know, like on both feet it has to be, um, my knee has to be bent a little bit and my knee isn't bending that well right now. Um, so working with what I got, but I did like several sun salutations and it just felt so good just getting that energy flowing, you know? It's just so important for the body. You got to align that mind, that body and your spirit every single day. That's why affirmations in the morning are great, followed by, you know, whether it's just five minutes of meditation or three sun salutations to start off your day, it will make a difference. Try it out. Try it out. Yay, and we are here. I've showed you guys this spot a couple of times before. I absolutely love it. It is so cute. I am at so much peace with myself right now and my surroundings. I am just sitting at the beach and I've got my book and my smoothie. It's getting pretty warm <laughs> and I've got a water bottle and I'm just so happy and so blissful and just so content. It's just so nice out and it's so hot, but I'm sitting in the shade and there's this nice breeze. So it's just like, keeping it at such a um, bearable temperature <laughs> and honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight with you right now I didn't shave for a while like you know and so I kept it don't worry I kept it like, like like not like crazy or anything like that but yesterday I was just like fuck it I'm just wanting to get rid of it and so you know I'm just like bald eagling it right now Oh, and honestly, the wind that's like flying up my skirt right now is just godsend. I'm just like, oh my god. Literally, I know that's a little bit of TMI, but like, to me, like nothing is too much information because I just am. I don't know if people don't feel weird about that, but yeah. And then I saw this guy who just popped a friggin' plastic kayak and just hopped and went away. And I was like, oh my god, I need to find one of those so bad because I just want to be able to go and spend my entire day kayaking on the lake. That would be amazing. I'm still not shaving my thighs though because I just love it. I'm like a golden goddess and I like shaving here 
because I feel like it gets too straggly and like I don't like it. It kind of like, I don't really like how it feels, but I like keeping that soft. And then this is just like, oh, it's just so soft. Like, can you see that? Oh, what is that? Oh my God. I don't even know this piece of dirt. I don't know, but mm, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so that place that you just saw me, that was a cute little place that me and my best friend go like all the time. Not really all the time, but like I want to go more. <laughs> but I went to, you know, before I was like, I want to show you guys this cute little spot where I want to go meditate. That's what I was about to do. And then I got there and I was like, oh, holy fuck, this heat is literally next level, man. Like it, I can't bear it. If I had a bathing suit and I could go in the water, I definitely would. But I have to go home just for a little bit because like... I really feel like I'm like not overheating, but I'm just like, oh, like it feels like a hot blanket is wrapped around me when I'm out here. So we gotta go, gotta go. So I was making some food for myself and then I open the fridge, I move a couple bags around and I hear I'll scream for kale. Who wants some kale? Huh? Yep. I think they do. We're coming, girlfriend. Don't you worry. And right now, we're just gonna cut up some kale for my baby girls because they freaking love kale. Literally, they love the stems, they love the leaves, they love everything. They are the best little compost bins I have ever had in my entire life. And I am just making some potatoes. Almost so. Potato, potato. Oh, that is not cut. Oh, yes it is, kind of. Oh yeah, some leftover kale from my guinea pigs that I gave them. Kids go crazy for kale. They get like a bowl of root picture. She get like a bowl of root picture. Ooh. Mommy. Oh god, this ratchet hair though, that is not so mommy. Ugh, oh, SOS ratchet, send help. Okay, pause though. Let's look, take a look at this skirt. So cute. I never used to be able to keep it up because I didn't have an ass. Now I got that ass, so we can keep it up. Hey, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Sorry. Got my finger all up in the cam there. It's time to pop these babies in the oven. I haven't finished cutting them yet, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that right now. And the other day we got a shit ton of nutritional yeast. Ow, ow. Ooh, wrong pressure point. Anyways. I'm so excited to use this. Look how much I got. I mean, I know it's not that much, but like I scooped several times. Oh, and taking into consideration, I used a ton of it last night too with some pasta. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these on these potatoes, pop them in the oven, let them cool off and pop them in my mouth. Happy tummy. Isn't this skirt just so cute though? So summery, so free. Like, oh my God, girls. You know that feeling when you wear skirts with no underwear and it's just like you feel like a brand new woman. Not even a brand new woman. You just have this sense of freedom where that breeze, it just tells you like... There are no words. No words. I don't know if boys will understand that because they're kind of... What? Like, I don't know if that was a little too graphic for you. I don't think it was, but I'm just gonna sprinkle this on here because the oven already beeped and usually I get that shit in before the oven beeps. So, um... I need to stop procrastinating. I don't understand why I do this. I'll get hungry and then I'll like to be like, oh, I should like record this. And then I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. And I'm like, okay, no, I need to prioritize food before everything. So we gonna get into this. <laughs> I don't know. I was just looking at something that kind of came into my head. Ugh, all this nutritional is just getting wasted on the pan, man. You know? Like, am I supposed to just do each individual one? Just like, hold on. <laughs> one, two. Do you know how long that would take me? This time. Let's pop these babies in the oven. I think my boyfriend is extremely right when he mimicked my voice that one time. I don't understand why I get like that, but it just kind of, like it, don't hold it against me. If I was maybe a day drinker, I had I would have an excuse. But I don't. Sometimes 
I kind of like observe myself in my videos, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of like, even like in the moment, and I'm like, hmm. I think this is why I fly solo a lot of the time, like other than my boyfriend and um, my best friend and like a couple of friends, but like they're very like here and there, you know what I mean? Like the two main people in my life are like my boyfriend and my best friend, like literally just like, and I like that, I do. And I kind of like look and I'm just like, hmm. Um, I think, I think it's, yeah, we're both, we're all, sorry, equally as weird. I think I top it though. Um, but they accept me for that, you know? So I feel like that's why my friendship group is very tightly knit, which I'm not complaining about whatsoever, but it's just funny because I kind of look at myself and in some moments I'm like, dude, you're weird as fuck. Like, what are you? What? I don't know. I'm cool with it. I just kind of look at it like, and like, my mom, when I get weird around her, like, and not even one eighth of the way that I usually am with, like, Curtis or Maddie, she looks at me like she doesn't really know me, honestly, and I don't know if she's gonna be watching this, but I'm, it's not a bad thing, but it's just funny to know, like, or not to know, but just to kind of see the sides that people kind of, like, perceive you as, you know, like, some people don't know you as, like, a weird motherfucker, and, like, some people know you as, like, you're, like, whatever but like you weird as fuck you know what i mean and not like weird in like a way but like like a you know what i mean like that i don't really know where i'm going with this but i hope you catch my drift that's that this lighting is just a one uh, i don't even know what that means <laughs> i'm so hungry you know what i think i'm gonna have a bag of cereal i think i'm gonna do that right now yeah because i'm so hungry and i can't wait 20 minutes <gasps> Thanks myself for reminding myself that I gotta put a 20 minute tab on for the potatoes or else I would have forgotten and they probably would have burnt. So thanks girl. If you're watching this, I, I don't blame you if you're kind of confused. Not really sure if you wanna come back and watch my videos or yeah, I don't really know. It could be a mix of emotions. Whoa, ghost face for a second. But yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. Because I'm I'm, I'm pretty hungry. So we got the timer on. I think that's all my responsibilities for right now. So pretty. I just put some ketchup and I baked them with nutritional yeast, but I also put some on top of it. And then we got some green onion. And where did that Dijon mustard go? Ah, right there. And then I was also like, okay. I kind of want a little bit of mayo, but I kind of, uh. so guess what I did? I put a tiny bit of mayo with some ketchup, with some sriracha ketchup. How funky is that? Put that together and um, yeah, I'm so freaking excited. I know, probably like, oh my god, yes, I'm on there, overload. Um, I don't care, I like to eat food and um, this is the food I like to eat. So whatever you like to eat, eat a ton of it. Don't judge others for what they eat. Okay, I know you're like, oh, you probably judge others for what you eat, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, a lot of people I find fa find it like absolutely appalling that I would threaten what they choose to eat. And don't get me wrong, I do not give a flying... Let's get one thing straight. I don't care what you eat. I don't care what you eat. As long as it's a personal choice. But when you're eating animal products, it's not a personal choice because you're taking a life. There's not even a word to describe the amount of destruction it does to the planet. And I live on this planet too. So if you have eating habits that cause destruction of the planet, are causing hundreds of thousands of people to die from starvation in third world countries because we are using their land for livestock. We're taking fruit from them. Fruit. I can't talk today. We're literally taking food from them and we're saying, fuck you, we're gonna feed these animals instead and get them nice and fat so we can get more nice and fat and we can get sicker and sicker and say, ha ha ha. <sighs> so just know that eating animal products is not a personal choice. So don't ever say, it's my meat. I, it's me, it's my choice. It's my, it's not yours. It will never be yours. It's that animal's body, just like your body is your body. And no one else could claim the right over that. No one could decide when they wanted your death to be.